Hi, JJ with today's thought. I usually cover some pretty serious topics, and actually I was going to respond to one of my videos that seems to have gotten a lot of views and a lot of comments, but I saw this other video this morning that I have to share, so a little bit of light entertainment, plus I promised, you notice in the title, a product endorsement, and that is not a joke, that is serious, so I want you to stick around for that. It has to do with actually the video that I'm going to show you, which is uh, a couple of less lesbians trying to uh, jump start a car with a dead battery so watch whatever you do don't rub them together because you could catch on fire <clears throat> okay plus with plus so negative black, with negative is the black the dark wire baby i don't know plus with plus negative with negative i don't know how to do this so plus with saying, plus this negative, negative with negative this is negative right i don't know mine's written on there yours is not you said that is was a plus nice. You're, this one's plus. So this has to be negative. Okay. Don't get sassy with me, B. I'm not getting sassy at all. You're, my so nipples then, are cold. Then this goes here. Oh what God. does an engine block mean? I don't know, B. Oh my God. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Ah! You just sparked my... You just told me how to. I did not oh, tell you. Know you. Why? Because these are these are together. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I'll just call somebody. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. No, oh, that smells bad. I don't want to start my car now. Try it again. You're okay. You're all right. I'm sorry for getting sassy. You're okay. You're okay. You're all right. You're okay. I don't know how to get You just it on did there. it. You just did it, baby. You got it. It's okay. Good job. It's okay. It's on there. It's not all the way on there. It's gonna fall off. Okay. Okay. So this one goes there? That fell off. I'm scared. I know you're scared. Do you want me to do it? No, you stay inside. Oh. Hold on. You gotta be. What's wrong, babe? I don't know. You got it. It's sparking. I don't like it. What do you mean it's sparking? It's whatever I get it close to there. I don't like then it. Then take it off. Then take it off. Hope y'all got a kick out of that. I sure did. And it actually made me think of the famous, well, famous to me anyhow. A lot of people have heard it. Maybe you haven't heard it. But uh, Margaret Thatcher, one of her, she says, she, she, just like Ronald Reagan, they're very, they were very much alike in, in a lot of ways, especially their conservatism, belief in free markets, but also their, their senses of humor and their, uh, their, their ability to come up with a nice uh, nice little quote. So one of the ones that she's kind of famous for is she said, if you want something, you know, about being a female prime minister, she said, if you want something said, ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. And I, yeah, I'm a man, but I thought that was, I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty funny. But I, I would add to that, if your, your car needs a jump, Ask a man. That's based on that video that you just saw. But now for the serious uh, product and endorsement that I was talking about, because this is a 24th century, 24th, 21st century, and jumper cables. I mean, I when I was young, I always had a pair of jumper cables in my trunk. Maybe a bunch of you know, many of you do, and I suspect more men than women. But the uh, I could be wrong. You know, correct me. I don't mind. Uh, I'm, I'm not that thin skinned But anyways, the the problem with jumper cables is that you need another car. 
So if you're stuck out somewhere in the middle of nowhere, and this has happened to me sometimes, and you have to call, well, in those days, now you have insurance, you have cell phones, but in those days, you'd have to go find a, a phone somewhere and call and get a tow truck to come out and, and give you a, a, a jump start. Because if you don't have another car there, then then you can't start your car. But there is, a, and I use this device, this is why it's a... a product endorsement. I didn't know about this until I actually found myself you know, I was worried that, that that could happen. What I'd be stuck somewhere, not be able to start my car. And it turns out that there is, there are things now. There is something called a booster box, and I'm showing you a photo. This is the one that I bought. It's not a a particular product recommendation, but you should have one of these in the trunk of your car. That that's my urging. This is what it is. You can kind of tell. Uh, what it is by looking at it. It's basically a battery and it, it's charged. It's a rechargeable battery. You can charge it with a USB cable. So you can keep it charged every, periodically. Just hook it up to the USB port in your car or I take mine inside my house and every few months I'll charge it. But it does hold a charge for a long time. And if you're stuck somewhere and you can't start your car, all you have to do pop the hood, hook this thing up to your car battery, turn it on, and then start your car because it takes the place of the battery and you don't need another car there. You don't have to get a jump from another car from somebody else's battery. That is the battery and th that's my serious product recommendation uh, that I am, and whatever your sexual orientation, uh, I don't want anybody to get stuck out in the nowhere, especially in freezing weather. Uh, you know, you know, a car, especially those of you in an electric car. Well, that's a good question. Would this work with an electric car? I, I don't know. But that, that's a problem with electric cars that in cold weather, the battery dies out a lot faster. And um, well, I, I don't want to get outside of my uh, my field of knowledge. I don't really know anything about electric cars, except that I don't want one. Anyways, but what I do want or would love is for all of you to subscribe. That's my thought for today. So if you could subscribe, that would really be great. Share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it. But most of all, most of all, come back and see me again. I would love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye. Just wondering, that was a bird uh, pecking at my my wooden house, and I just banged on the window to uh, get that bird to go out of there. So he's gone. My house is intact, and um, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. I thought you would like to, a little bit of human interest there about life in Tennessee, and this time for sure, bye.